welcome to the tutorial and today we are going to see how to secure Azure Key Vault from outside access. And if you notice in our previous video of the Azure Key Vault series, we made our Key Vault and have access to all the networks including the internet. What I mean by that is we created Azure Key Vault in the Azure portal and I wrote a simple Python code from my Mac and I was able to create and retrieve secrets and I was able to authenticate myself outside the network, right? And for the security purpose, today what we are going to do is, we are going to only restrict certain virtual networks to have access to the key wall, and we are going to block all the public access. And to do that, we should actually have Azure Key Vault, and we should create a virtual network, and we should also spin up a Ubuntu machine inside the virtual network. And for the rest of the configuration, I will show you how to do that. Now let me go to the Azure Key Vault in the Azure portal and I will show you what is that access type. So as you can see, um, I'm on the Azure portal and I'm inside my Key Vault that I have already created. And under the settings blade, you can click networking and you can see that I have chosen all networks. So what I mean by that is all network includes internet. It means I should be able to authenticate myself and then just create and seek, retrieve secrets or I can do all kinds of magic. So let me go on to the portal and I will show you what I can do now. So I'm inside my macOS terminal and I'm going to run a simple Python code where I'm going to input my secret key and I'm going to create the secret and then also I'm going to retrieve a secret. So let me hit enter and it's asking me for secret name. So let me put like admin one two three four five, and then I'm going to put a secret value that's password something junk. So it's now going to go and create this, and you can see that it clearly went ahead and created this secret admin inside the vault, and it is also able to retrieve, and you can see that the secret value that I have entered is password something number and I, I can retrieve that. So that means that I'm outside the network and I'm able to manipulate and create and retrieve the keys. Now today the plan is actually is to restrict that access. That we don't want outside people to go and you know do all kinds of crazy things on my key wall. And let's, let's see how to restrict that access. The first thing first is to go on to the key vault not i'm sorry so first thing is we should have certain things as i told you i already have my virtual network as you can see and inside the virtual network i have a subnet in place and i also went ahead and created a virtual machine and i have a ubuntu machine and in case you don't know how to create a ubuntu virtual machine i also have a description um, for that and you can see my previous video that I have shown you how to create a virtual machine on a Ubuntu flavor. So let's just uh, go on to the virtual network first and down the below you can see something called endpoints, service endpoints and this is under the settings blade you can see service endpoint. Now you have to click on add and you should be able to search something called key vault and that should pop up and you are just going to add it on the subnets and I'm going to click on default because I only have default subnet. So once that is added, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back to the vault, key vault that we created and we're going to pull that network inside. So give me a second and uh, once this is done, I will, you know, go back to that screen. Okay guys, so now I was able to create the service point inside the virtual network. So we have done this. Now the next step to uh, do is to go on to the vault, key vault settings. Inside my uh, key vault, which I have named it as vault testing one, two, three, four. And if you go down the below, under the settings on the left hand side, you have something called networking. And now let's go and uh, create a private endpoint and then select the network. So when you click on the private endpoint and select network, I have already done this. So let me just go delete it and then add one more time. So now let's go on to add existing virtual network and then select the virtual network 
that you have and I have vnet1 and once that you do that you have to click on the subnet and I have one subnet that is default subnet you just have to click add and then for don't forget to save the save it so once you click on the save the settings are in place so anybody who is outside the vnet which is virtual network vnet1 will not have access to the key vault so once that is saved let's go and try it on our mac and let's see if we are able to retrieve that one more time so i'm inside my mac again and remember guys so in the previous video we were able to retrieve and uh, do all kinds of nasty things now let's do it one more time and see if that is helping us or not let me clear the screen and then hit enter it's asking my secret let me just type admin something junk and my password one two three four five and now let's see if it's able to create it or not and as you can see here right that it's clearly says that it's forbidden by firewall so look at the um, error it says that client address is not authorized and the caller is not a trusted service now that is happening because we made sure that you know nobody's from outside the vnet vnet virtual network will should have access to the key wall now as i told you i'm already created a ubuntu box inside the vnet let me show you so i've created ubuntu virtual machine and i have deployed that inside the vnet one default now let me go and log into the virtual machine and then let's fire that python code one more time i'm inside my ubuntu virtual machine let me just confirm that once again and yes that's 10.0.0.4 that's my virtual machine uh, ip address let me clear the screen and then um, i have my uh, python code here as keywall.py let me just run the python code and let's see how it's working let's see if it's able to uh, create and retrieve secrets so let me hit enter and my secret is passwords something or i can just type something meaningful password dba okay and my secret value is oracle one two three four five and now let's see if it's creating yes so now it's able to create the secret and you can see that and it says that creating a secret in vault testing one two three four which is our key vault and it says that you know password dba is our uh, secret and then again it went ahead and it's able to retrieve my password for uh, the password dba key secret and you can see that it's it's able to retrieve the secret as oracle one two three four so that sums up this tutorial guys so now anybody from outside the vnet will not be able to have access to the key wall and uh, we were successfully able to do that and i uh, hope you like this tutorial and just please give me a thumbs up or any comments uh, to improve this uh, tutorial further and just click um, uh, refer all the commands that i have used and the previous tutorials on the video description and thank you once again and happy learning